Hi everyone, I'm back with the part two uh, regarding the Dropbox auth flow. So in the part one, what we have already done, we have uh, created in a uh, Dropbox app on a uh, Dropbox console, and when then we have uh, configured all the read or the configuration regarding the app, and we have got the app credentials. Then uh, we have uh, also uh, configured the redirect uh, authorization URL of the Dropbox workflow, okay, and uh, then we have successfully got the authorization code here, okay. So you can see, okay. And in this part two, what we can do, we just use this code and get the access and refresh, refresh token, okay. And then we will move on the further sessions regarding the the Dropbox APIs regarding the writing the files, downloading the files, and many more APIs uh, as, as those available with the scopes, okay? So now we will continue with that, okay? So first we must be, I have already added the XS and uh, now here yeah, what we can do, we first, we first create the post URI configuration, or I, I'm naming it token URI and uh, just, this is HTTPS API dot Dropbox on slash OAuth2 token. Okay. And uh, here we we just set the grant type position position code and code. We just go and and then okay and uh, we must be also uh, create the sorry I think we must be set this to light okay okay so we set the I think we can also excuse dot set the method post and the headers authorization and authorization position will be basic and buffer dot from we must be it the basic credentials that means api key and secret okay so i have already created an environment dot env file and i have set up all the environment variables here so we can get the process dot environment dot and we name it client id okay and then process dot env dot and we must be copy secret okay and we also configure here redirect uri process dot env env dot Dropbox redirect there. Okay. And and then that two string and base sixty four. Okay. And we just we just also pass the URL. Okay, so here is token URI. And then our response, we just place a breakpoint here to check that whether we are going in the right path or we are getting some error. Okay, so error, okay.
save it. Okay, let's try. Let's try it. Start. Okay, start. Just remove this breakpoint. Navigate to the local host. API address Dropbox. I I think we we must be we we have missed something. Let me check that inside the index that we have. Uh, okay, we have a dot env. Okay, continue. Hello. Okay, we have a code here. Just verify that all the things are fine. Okay. I, I let's let's check check with uh, this is tab and if we got some client ID is okay. Client secret is okay. Now let's try to place a breakpoint here and here. Okay, and continue. Oh, Xios is not a function. Okay. I think we must be removing this default. Okay, let start. And let's start once again. API plus Dropbox. Continue, allow. Go. Okay, we have got response, so data. Okay, you are seeing that we have access token, account ID, expires in and refresh token. Okay, and with these scopes we have already configured in step one. Okay, and user ID. So this refresh token will be available if we have uh, authorized users with this parameter. Okay, so I have already mentioned that thing in a, in a part one, but I have a, I have uh, seen a type of mistake in this. So you must be set this token access type offline. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully you will got it. Bye-bye.